16 seconds of the first period, and the Cowboy with a 1-0 advantage. Daniel Lewis was the opponent for Smith in the duel against Missouri, not Flynn. Also, Daniel Lewis, 7 0, who is the number two seed up at 174 pounds. That was a 165 bound. Or, actually, correction, 174 bound. Smith was up a weight class. Out of bounds, they go and reset with eight seconds into this one. And as for Connor Flynn, as we said, the 15 seed out of St. Louis, Missouri, went to Francis Howe High School. He's a junior. Transfer from West Virginia, where he wrestled for Sammy Henson, who is an alumnus of Francis Howell High School. Nice hip, eyes up and away. Flynn knocks this one up at one apiece. Quickly into the second after the reset, then gets away 15 seconds into the second period. Against this field, Flynn is 5-5. Five and five. And he got third at the MAC Championships as he lost to Holt Yinger of Ohio, 5-4, to four, a close one. But his wins were against Fedewa of Central Michigan, Shane Jones of Old Dominion by Tech Fall, and then a major decision over Nate Higgins of SIU Edwardsville. SIU Edwardsville, formerly in the SOCON, joined the MAC this year. Flynn, its losses scattered throughout his record going into the MAC championships, including a loss to Chandler Rogers. As we said, Rogers was the starter here at this weight class. Smith beat him in a wrestle-off, but Rogers beat Flynn 7-5 in the duel, and before that, Josh Shields of Arizona State beat Flynn out in Tempe, Arizona in the duel by a final of 7-3. So 7-3 loss to Shields, 7-5 loss to Rogers before Flynn headed into the postseason. Now front headlock controlled by Smith. Flynn able to get back out of it. And they go back to center mat. About a half minute left to go second period. I'm John Schumacher giving you the play-by-play -play here at 165 pounds. Second round muscle back. They go to a collar tie here. Dropping down. Shooting that low single is Smith. What his father did. Trademark move for him in his wrestling days. Now Flynn will drop down to the ankle. Trying to hold on here. Ten seconds left on the near side of the mat. Nate Chapman overseeing it. They go out. Smith could not keep him in bounds. Flynn. And Smith in the neutral position after Flynn got out fairly early here in the second period to knock this thing up. Riding time not a factor, and the choice goes to Smith. He looks to his father, and he'll choose down. Good matchup here. These two did not meet during the regular season. Flynn in his junior year at Francis Howell High School. Undefeated, heading towards the postseason, suffered an injury. But did a lot of work in the offseason. And was a state champion for the Vikings. And then went to wrestle for Sam Henson. But transferred back to his home state. To wrestle for Brian Smith, of course, Sammy Henson, a longtime assistant for the Tigers. There's an escape for Joe Smith. He does that in three seconds. No chance for Flynn to accumulate riding time. In circles. Early here in the final period of regulation. Smith, Wrencher Jr. Went to the hometown high school where Oklahoma State is in Stillwater. He is at 157 back in 2016-17. He redshirted last year. And he is a two-time All-American. He's 16 and 6 at 157 in 2017, finishing fourth at Nationals. Then in 2015-16, 34 and 5 as a true freshman. As he finished seventh at 157. So it's bumped up this year to 165. A minute to go. With Smith with a 3-1 advantage. 
Stalling on Flynn. Gives another point to Joe Smith. There was two Stallings in the first period on Flynn. Gave the one nothing lead to Smith. Now, after the escape by Flynn, he gets hit with Stalling. Another penalty point. That's where we stand. 3-1. to one. Riding time, not a factor. Over a hook on the right side for Flynn. He's got to push the pace here. Controls the tie. Head higher than Smith. Seatbelt by Smith, left arm. Inside trip attempt by Flynn. Nothing doing, and we're under 30. Flynn will have to go big here. He's got control. Can he muscle Smith down? Smith trying to warm his way out. Again, Flynn trying to sweep that leg. Nothing doing. Overhook is in. Attacked. Five seconds left to go. Tries to step inside. It's not going to happen. And Joe Smith, the 33 seed, will move on to the third round of the wrestleback here in Pittsburgh at PPG Paints Arena. It's a 3-1 decision over Connor Flynn of Missouri. For more information on NCAA Wrestling, please visit NCAA.com. You can find us on social media at hashtag NCAA Wrestling. Thank <laughs> you.